Hello and welcome to a new review from Higher Plane Games. Today we're looking at Bookworm Deluxe, which has been made by PopCap. It's available to download on Steam and probably other outlets as well. Now we all know PopCap Games because they're all very, very simple in their premise, but so bloody addictive. Rah! <laughs> now the name of the game here is to basically make as big a words as possible to try and rack up the biggest score you can and survive. With Bookworm Deluxe you've got two different types of game. One is the classic mode where you can go at your own time at your own pace to try and make the biggest score you can. Here you're watching action mode which is where the screen will constantly fill up with basically flame blocks, the red ones. Now if they drop all the way down to the bottom of the screen it's game over so you want to get rid of those as quickly as possible. The green blocks here, and they're yellow in the classic game, are basically score multipliers, so if you can include those in the word that you're making you'll get more points for what you've made. And obviously the more obscure the letter, you can get in the QUs and the Xs and the Zs, then that will definitely boost your score. Now the game levels up with the little bookshelf that you can see in between the submitting options button on the left hand side the more the score you get the quicker and the more books you get across that shelf you can see it just shoving it along as it hits the end that's the end of the level and you're on to the next and it'll give you a quick review of your most um, your highest scoring word and your longest word as well and it does keep a tally of it over the course of the time that you've opened the game as well so it's quite interesting to see what basically racks up the points and what doesn't. Now obviously cheesy music, very very simplistic graphics. The only kind of annoyance that I can find with the game if I'm being really picky is that sometimes chaining your letters together um, if you make a mistake and you want to double back on yourself, sometimes it's a little bit second-hand tricky to go all the way back to the very beginning letter, double-click it off and then start again somewhere else. It would be handy if there was, say, like a right-click where you could get rid of the letters that you had already changed together so you could start anew somewhere else. Um, but aside from that, very, very solid game. Very enjoyable for dropping in and out of. And um, especially if you like your English, Otherwise you'll be sitting there panicking, thinking, oh my god, I don't know what I'm going to squeeze in everywhere. And um, it'll be game over before you know it. That's all for this review from Higher Plane Games. Thank you very much for watching. Join us again. Take care.